Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Today's episode, we're going straight into Monday motivation. That's right. Um, today is actually the day after the storm. Yesterday, um, that Hurricane Delta swung through here and um, we made it out okay. Hell yeah. So <laughs> um, that, that alone is motivation enough, you know, to push forward. But, um, you know, today I was already kind of motivated, you know, um, woke, woke up this morning to get to work. You know, I have a lot of things on my plate um, that I wanted to start working on. You know, one of the main things that I'm working on that I'm doing out here, if you guys aren't aware, um, I'm doing that Cooking Live with Jose show. You know, so I'm cooking live and it's going pretty great, pretty awesome. Um, but see, look, this morning, like uh, one of the things that I had uh, planned was like I was gonna go to the store, pick up a couple things, and um, just come back, do the cooking live stream, maybe film a video, and then, you know, do the podcast and, you know, whatever, you know, kind of like my Thursday schedule. But as the day was going, as I was uh, going to the store, things were going all wrong. As I came back home to start setting up, everything kept fucking blowing up and going wrong and uh basically it was one thing after another to the point where i said to myself you know what let me not do anything at all and uh just come to a complete stop and uh you know i did that for a little while um got my bearings straight i started uh you know getting my head together and uh feeling a little better and um, as the day progressed, um, and I realized that I wasn't gonna be able to do the original plan, the, the things that I wanted to do, um, I can still do a bunch of other things that I need to do, that I have to do. So for example, one thing that I definitely needed to do was film two episodes. And um, before, I don't know if you guys remember, I used to, um, on a very regular basis, you know, go out to at Centro walking. This is way before I had my bike. You guys remember before I had my bike, right? I know some of you guys still do. Um, and so, you know, it was pretty straightforward. Basically, I needed something. I had to put on my shoes and literally walk 20, 20 plus minutes till I got to at Centro. And then once I got to at Centro, then there, yeah, those dogs are having it. He's <laughs> going at it there. Anyway, so. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so I would, you know, I had to put on my shoes and then just walk, you know, hoof it, hoof it all the way down to El Centro in order to get my shit together, you know what I mean? In order to, you know, um, make a purchase, in order to grab something, um, whatever it is I had to do, um, it was always at the very least a 20 to 25 minute trek one way walking and then 20, 25 minute trek walking the other way. And uh, sometimes it was just going to Walmart, you know, and I would walk up and down Paseo Montejo and um, it basically didn't even matter what it is I needed to do sometimes it was something minor sometimes it was ma major groceries you know sometimes it was just to go get one thing sometimes it was to go get a lot of things but at the end of the day it was a very similar path you know meaning um, on a regular basis at least a few times a week I would walk um, you know, I would walk and, you know, one way, walk back the other way to go do whatever I had to do. But um, the real reason I would do that was to film two episodes. And so I can film two episodes. So, you know, today, one of the things that I had to do was that I had to um, go to the bank and pick up some money. And when I went to the bank, let's just say they were giving me a very hard time. So it started off with that. And, um, you know, the day just kept getting worse and worse as um, we continue, as I continued with it. And so it's very easy for me to just sit here, me or anyone to just sit here and blame the world. You know, blame, well, let's cross the street, um, to blame everything and everyone around me, except for me. And I just wanna show you a little bit. I also wanna, I'm, I'm just looking at the camera so that I can see because it looks like it's fogging up. It's very hot and humid. And um, I guess, look, let me get to the point of today's episode real quick before I get too, too ahead. Yeah, I'm not sure about the battery situation. I had to bring more batteries, but um, basically it was like this. 
I was I woke up with a, in a good attitude in order to start doing a bunch of things everything started going wrong one thing after the other and then it was up to me what I was gonna do am I was I gonna just uh, continue to barrel through everything in order for me to all of a sudden you know just uh, have uh, have everything come out really shitty you know because again I could have easily which I've done it many 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 times before easily just barrel just barrel right through it you know barrel right through the problem barrel barrel right you know just rush right through it bust right through it you know whatever the problem was you know whatever the situation was and then still you know take care of what I needed to take care of let me see uh, okay all right yeah but this is very foggy right here jeez um, but okay you guys can still see but anyways just barrel right through it but again to the consequence of later on you know um, things don't turn out the way they're supposed to turn out things just don't turn out right because I forced it you can't force anything you know um, when you force something and I'm telling you usually the results are not good but I guess the point I'm making is that in today's Monday motivation, you know, like I was very, very, very motivated um, to do everything. And as everything's kept going wrong and wrong and bad and wrong, you know, I just, the reason I was getting even more frustrated is because I wanted to do these things or do things, but everything just kept fucking up or kept going wrong. So, you know, today, I mean, the advice for today is basically when things like that happen, you sometimes gotta, you know, take a step back you know you know you gotta do like like kanye says you know what they were trying to explain to kanye here Hats, wait. You take a few steps back to go you ain't got the answers right man up. you ain't got the answers you know just take a, a few steps back you know what i mean take a breath you know assess assess the situation you know assess the situation you know um realign your bearings you know get get uh get back on track you know get back to um you know putting everything um in order organizing everything you know just getting your shit together and then going after it you know then then redoing it so i mean look that's what i was uh, doing today because as i tried to continue to barrel through it as i tried to continue to you know force it as i tried to continue to just make something happen it just wasn't happening it just wasn't working it just kept uh it kept getting worse and worse so i had to like st take a step back i had to you know breathe relax and i had to really i had to like the most important thing here is that i had to go look deep within myself and figure out what the fuck was going on because that's basically also what was going on too it's like um subconsciously i was the one that was causing all of this havoc not really knowing you know what the hell I was doing only to realize only to realize that a good majority of uh, what was going on or what, what I was doing you know all the, the wrong things that were happening were all because of me they had a lot to do with me and and uh, and not necessarily the surroundings or the things around me you feel me and so once I figured out all right, let me see. Can you still see? Yeah, you can still see. All right. But once I figured out what I was doing wrong, once I figured out what was going on, once I really did, did that deep dive into me, I quickly started to realize, you know, not only what was wrong, but what I needed to do in order to fix it and how I, and how I could proceed going forward. And um, I know I'm being a little vague, but the reality is, is because I can't necessarily share every single intricacy and everything that was going on in my head and in my brain at the moment, because it's uh, it's too much, all right? It's too much to just put into a video here and put into a few words and thoughts. And again, it has not, it has no relevance to whatever it is you're going through. What today's video is mostly about is about the fact that, oh man, look at that, that looks good as hell. <laughs> oh yeah i gotta come by here and get some food i gotta definitely come by here and get some barbecue soon at least i know that they're selling barbecue all the time so i just gotta come on my bike it's not too far so yeah um but anyways once i realized what's up 
it was very easy to move forward um not just with the solution but um about how to fix it yeah i lost my train of thought there the food made me lose my train of thought <laughs> it was that smells so good um hold on one over here and so you know back to what i was saying though yeah yeah okay that's right so in order for us to solve basically any problem there is out there in your particular life you got to do a lot of uh introspective work you got to look inside of yourself and you got to ask yourselves these questions that are very difficult to ask and answer um, for most people you got to be honest with yourself you have to be you know you have to you know ask yourself very very hard questions you got to take this to the next level Hola. Hola, ¿cómo están? How are you speaking English? English, español, de todo, sí. What is that? Are you recording anything? Are you recording anything? What do you mean recording anything? Like, are you like, videotaping? Yeah, vlog, yo hago un vlog. Sí, 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 sí. Let's speak English, I'm from LA. Oh, you're from LA? Oh, awesome. I just came from LA too. Yeah, yeah, I'm just doing a vlog, you know, a regular vlog. Look me up if you want. I'm from right there from Long Beach. Oh, from Long Beach? Oh, awesome. I'm from Garden. Awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. I was living up in the valley, you know, like oh, a, man, a, a man, few, right before I came out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, good, nice man. to meet you, man. Likewise, for sure. Bye. So yeah, like as I was saying, um, you know, you gotta like just do that work where you gotta look inside yourself, and you gotta figure out what the fuck is wrong. And once you do that, everything just starts opening up. Look, man. One of the one of the things that I was having today, one of my problems today, was the fact that um again i don't want to get too detailed but i just felt like man everybody had an attitude today everybody was just like um being really shitty today and blah 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 and then i figured out actually it wasn't necessarily the people yeah sure there was a few people out there that weren't you know necessarily too happy today for whatever reason that's normal it's it's normal human nature but for the most part you know people were just it's a day after the fucking hurricane they're dealing with their own shit and dealing with a lot of problems and i couldn't see that for what it was i had to you know just blame you know the things that were going wrong in my personal little universe on everybody else but again when i looked deep down into it i realized oh wait a minute this is why this was happening this is why this is that da, da, da. and then right now that person that just randomly said hi to me you know that's all part of um you know the universe telling me that i was wrong because that guy just came out of nowhere to say hi to me say what's up not much you saw the video i mean we just you know we're walking past each other and he said hi and so that showed me straight up you know the reality is that you know people are friendly everyone's friendly i'm in a very friendly area everything's nice and chill out here then maybe the one that needed a attitude adjustment was me and not them you follow me see look i'm on the other side of the tracks here uh, uh, gotta be careful i gotta don't want to be walking in no potholes okay so in today's adventure i don't even know where i'm going i kind of know where i'm going because i gotta go get something but i don't know where i am i do know where i am but i've never really been out here walking or anything like that so but as you guys can see you know things are starting to open up i know this is not going to be on the merida mexico um travel vlog uh channel this is going to be on my regular channel you know we're doing the monday motivation but you know still i know a lot of you guys watch all the channels and all the content so you guys can see what's up but yeah man you know it's all about the vibes that you put out there in the universe whether they're subconsciously well, i mean when you do them consciously or subconsciously you feel me um it's all about the energy that you put out into the world it's all about the thoughts that you have it's all about how you behave it's all about you 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 in fact i had a discussion with someone earlier yesterday about that you know where where people were where you know basically they were the, the person was telling me the world why does the world revolve around you the world always revolves around you and yada 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 and yada 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 and i'm like yeah it fuck yeah it does because it's my world and my world everything revolves around me so in your world everything should revolve around you you got to take care of you you got to make sure that you do you and so on and so forth so you know right now even though i am using the excuse that i gotta go and and record two videos to come out here and take this walk and do what i gotta do the reality is, is that i just gotta go take a walk all right i've had a really rough day today 
And again, it's nothing crazy. You know, nothing, you know, if I, if, I, if I were to tell you most of my day, you'd probably be laughing. But that's not the point. The point is I had a rough day. We're all human. And um, I need, I have a lot of energy. And I wasn't going to just sit around and do nothing. I definitely wasn't going to cook anymore. I couldn't do that anymore. So I was like, what am I going to do? And I know exactly what I was going to do because I'm doing it right now. I said, I'm going to go for a walk. But I'm not just going to go for a walk. I'm going to go do and run an errand. So I'm right now I'm going to go run an errand. And number two, I was like, well, I got to film videos. Well, and this is what I, I asked you guys on the channel, what you guys want to watch, what you guys want to see, what more kind of content you want. And this is the kind of content you guys want to see and want and desire and stuff like that. So that's it. Now I'm out here doing it. So I decided, oh look, there's a bike, bike shop here. Good. Just in case. Oh, it's a BC Maya. All right, cool. Good. All right, anyways, but the point I'm making is that, see, I wouldn't know any of this if I didn't go out for a walk. I needed to, and by the way, my day was so rough, I already took a shower. So in a sense, I could, I, I literally, I'm, I should just be home, you know, working on other stuff um, and not, not out here, you know, um, sweating to the oldies again you follow me but i gotta do it i have to do it yeah i'm gonna have to go home and take another shower in a little while and uh, and all that stuff and i still have a lot of things that i gotta do but if i don't take if i don't take care of myself if i don't go out here and take this walk if i don't come out here and record this video if i don't do these things that i need to do then i'm just gonna keep feeling worse and worse and worse and so Again, you know, today's episode, you know, the whole Monday motivation aspect of it, you know, I'm gonna throw a name out there, Jordan Peterson. I don't know if you guys know who Jordan Peterson is. If you don't know who he is, I highly suggest that you go and just stop watching me right now and go search Jordan Peterson and listen to him. Forget me, honestly. Um, but yeah, this guy, Jordan Peterson, as I was having a rough day today, rough day yesterday, you know, rough afternoon, um, with you know certain things um, I started listening to him again I used to listen to him on a very regular basis I used to listen to you know um, Jordan Peterson very regularly all the time and um, and then after a while I just stopped listening to him only because I, I mean I felt like I didn't need to listen to him anymore think I moved on look just like Gary V you know I pop out you know I bust out with Gary V all the time and I talk about Gary V, and uh, and I haven't really mentioned uh, Gary V in a while, but that's because again, I don't need him anymore. I you know, same as the motivational stuff, you know. But I know others do, and sometimes I still do. So, for example, for example, even though I haven't heard Jordan Peterson in a long time, I knew that I needed to listen to him. I knew that I needed to hear a few wise words from the wise man himself, and um, that got me. Not, it didn't get me in a better mood it just got me to the to the point of understanding to make me realize what the hell's going on that i needed to stop you know blaming or talking or you know whatever all the things that we normally do which is you know blame something else not take responsibility not take action sit there and mope and, and, and be emotional, which again, a lot of these things are normal and we still have to go through them, but are we gonna let these things control us? And so, I, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm not gonna let those things control me, but I still have to deal with them. You still have to make that conscious decision, choice, that I'm not gonna let this shit control me and then, you know, act accordingly, all right? And uh, and that's it, you know what I mean? Like, you know, a lot of these uh, motiv motivations, like last motivation, was uh, trying to, was uh, showing you or bringing up the point that, you know, we got to motivate ourselves. We got to learn how to motivate ourselves and we got to just do what we got to do. And we can't be relying on others or other individuals to make us feel better. We got to do it ourselves. And so again, we're going to keep going with that same theme, you know, with what we're talking about here, you know, where it's no one's responsibility but your own everything that goes wrong in your world is your fault everything that happens is because of you good bad in between whatever it is and that's the thing you know what i mean you gotta like constantly you know what i mean you gotta constantly keep checking yourself before you wreck yourself all right and and it's it's just it's a bunch of that 
And most people just don't, don't want to do the simplicity of checking themselves. Most people don't want to have that difficult conversation with themselves. Most people don't want to, you know, do the things that they need to do in order to better themselves. Because it's a lot easier to not do that at all. And it's as simple as that. By the way, so I don't know any, I don't know where I am at all. I do know a little bit of the area because I've been around here in a car and stuff like that. But this is the first time I'm really, really in this area. Um, I gotta go to that store. I don't know if you guys can see it. You probably can't see it there. I gotta go to Coppell. And uh, I, they keep telling me it's around here. I hope it's not. I, I think all those people for the bank. I don't think it's from. I'm trying to. Okay, you know what? I gotta figure out where I gotta get in here. Let me see where the entrance to the store is. Maybe it's over there. But yeah, anyways, I mean, but this is a little freaky, you know, seeing everybody with a mask on, you know, fucking zombie apocalypse out here. Anyways. Yeah, I can't wait to record the video on the way back. I actually got some juicy, juicy stuff. Actually, you're gonna see that one first on the schedule. Long story. Anyways, I, I, yeah, don't listen to me. I don't even know what I'm talking about at the moment. All right, I don't know if this is the entrance or not. This might be the entrance to the mall. I think so. I think that's the entrance. Anyways, all right, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, I know today was a weird, you know, walking and talking. Um, it was a Monday motivation. You already know what the, what the deal is today. I hope you guys are thoroughly motivated. In fact, I'm going to see if I can find some sort of extra motivational video to put at the end of here so you guys can uh, have a little bit more, you know, context to what I'm saying, all right? But at the end of the day, you know, it all comes down to you. It all boils down to you. It's you, you, you. It's your fault, it's your world, it's your universe. Take responsibility, take you know hold of your life, get to work, and trust me, everything will be better. I already feel better. I already feel a million times better. You feel me? By just being out here, all right? By taking this walk, by exposing myself, all right? Nice. Yeah, I know, that sounded wrong. But anyways, all right guys, I gotta end it here because I gotta get going. I gotta go take care of this and um, I gotta film another episode on the way back and it's hot and humid, all right? So, guys, you already know the deal. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please, please hit the bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, check out my website. Stay awesome, actually more importantly than anything else, stay awesome, but please check out the website because if you go to the website, you'll see everything that I do. All the channels, all the videos, all the content, all the everything, all right? Plus all the free, free help and free content. So. All right, guys, I got to get going. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye. I've, I've been telling people online in various ways and in lectures that they should start fixing up the world by cleaning up their room. And I wanted to just elaborate on that a little bit before I get back to the lecture itself. So as it's become this internet, weird internet meme, you know, <laughs> uh, and, 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 and it's a joke, and good, it's a joke. I, good, I, I'm really happy about the fact that so much of this has got like the leaven of humor in it. It's really important, because that's what stops things from degenerating into, into conflict, humor. And I was thinking about this idea of cleaning up your room in relationship to the mustard seed idea. And you see, the thing about cleaning up your room, this is also something I learned from Carl Jung and his studies on alchemy, because for Jung, when the alchemist was attempting to make the Philosopher's Stone, he was not only engaged in the transformation of the material world, but he was engaged in a process of self-transformation that occurred at the same time as the, as, the chemical as the chemical transformation. So it was a psychological work in some sense. Let's say you want to sort out your room and beautify it, because the beauty is also important. And let's say that all you have is just a little room, like you're not rich, you're, you're poor. And, and you don't have any power, that's another thing. But you've got your damn room, and you've got this space right in front of you, you know, that, that, that's a part of the cosmos that you can come to grips with. And you might think, well, what's there in front of you, right in front of you? And the answer to that is, it depends on how open your eyes are. That's the proper answer, because you could say, and William Blake said this, for example, and Aldous Huxley made comments that were very similar, that in a transcendent state, you can see infinity in the finite. And you might say, well, you can, say inf you can see infinity in what you have within your grasp if you look, and you could say, maybe that's the case with your room. And so, you want to clean up your room. Well, okay, how do you do that exactly? Well, a room is a, room is a place to sleep. And so, if you set your room up, 
properly. Then you figure out how to sleep and when you should sleep and how you should sleep. And then you figure out when you should wake up. And then you figure out, well, what clothes you should wear because they have to be arranged properly in your dresser. And then you have to have some place to put your clothes. And if you're going to have some clothes, you have to figure out what you're going to wear those clothes to do, right? And then that means you have to figure out what you're going to do. And then your room has to serve that purpose because otherwise it isn't set up properly. And if it doesn't set up if it doesn't serve your pur purposes, you will be unhappy and not happy in the room because the way that we perceive the world is as a place to move from point A to point B in. And then if the place that we're in facilitates that movement, then we're happy to be there. And if the place that we're in serves as an obstacle to that movement, then we're unhappy to be there. And so what it means to set up your room is that you have to have somewhere to go that's worthwhile or you can't set up your room and then your room has to be set up to facilitate that. And then the next thing is, well, maybe you have to make it beautiful. But that's not easy, right? That means you have to have some taste. And that doesn't mean you have to have money. It doesn't. Because you can be garish with money and you can be tasteful with nothing. All you need is taste, and taste beats money when it comes to beautifying things, you know? I mean, not that money is trivial, because it's not, but taste is crucial, and people who are very artistically oriented can make beautiful things out of virtually nothing. And not only that, the literature suggests that if you're going to make beautiful things, putting real constraints on, on what you allow yourself to do facilitates creativity instead of interfering with it. Because let's say you have to make something out of nothing, right? Which I suppose would be a godly act, right? You have to make something out of nothing. It, you have to be creative in order to do that. And so then to, to beautify your room means that you also have to develop your capacity to be creative. And so then you can make your room shine. But then what will happen is that if your family isn't together, they will interfere with that. You'll interfere with that because you won't have the discipline to do it properly. But then when you start building this, this, this little microcosm of perfection with what you have at hand, then it'll evoke all the pathologies of everyone in your household. They'll wonder what the hell you're up to in there. And they won't necessarily be happy because if, you're, if they're in a lowly place, let's say, and so are you, and you're trying to move out of that, then the, the higher you move out of that, the more the place they're in looks bad. And you might say, well, what they should do is celebrate your victory over chaos and evil, but that isn't what will happen. What will happen instead is that they will attempt to pull you back down. They'll attempt to... And I mean, obviously, all families don't do that, but, but all families do that to some degree, and some families do almost nothing but that. And so what that means is that if you're going to organize your room, then you're going to have to confront the devils in your house, and that's often, that's often a terrifying thing because some of those devils have, have lineages that go back many, many, many generations, and God only knows what you have to struggle with in order to overcome that. And so, and then it, and so to sort yourself out and to fix up your room is a non-trivial matter, you know, and you, you can do that, you'll learn by doing that, and then maybe you'll learn enough by doing that so that you can fix up your family a little bit, and then having done that, you'll have enough character so that when you try to operate in the world at your job or maybe in the broader social spheres, that you'll be a force for good instead of harm because you'll have learned some humility by noting just how difficult it was to put your damn room together, well, and yourself for that matter. And so you'll proceed cautiously with your eyes open towards the good.